Hello, this is Russell from Russell Tracy Photography, and today I want to do a quick video on how I set my basic white balance and color profiles and stuff like that in Lightroom. So the purpose behind this video is I've seen a lot of people online recently complaining about white balance and how they don't want to go and set each individual photo and post and stuff like this. Well, there's a pretty simple solution to that. And the solution that I found was the X-Rite Color Checker. Um, you don't have to use this. You can just use something simple like a white piece of paper or a gray card to, and get the same effect. You just won't have the uh, color profile. So when I, when I go out and I shoot on location, the first thing I do is I set up the camera with the correct exposure that I want. So you can see here my exposure was 1200 f5.6 ISO 100 and I was shooting the D500 and the 7200 VR2. Um, so once I get a good exposure, what I'll do is I'll set my white balance and I use the color checker, uh, passport to do that. So it's got two sides to it. It's got this gray card side and it's got the actual color checker side. Now, like I said, if you're not using the color checker, you won't, you won't have this option, but you can still use the, like a white piece of paper or gray card or something like that to set your white balance um, and you can ignore the, if that, if that's what you're doing, you can ignore the color profile side of this video. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll go and I'll change my white balance on my camera to preset and I'll take a preset white balance using the gray card side of the color checker. And then once I get a good white balance, it'll say GD or good or something like that on your camera. Then what I do is I take a picture like this. So I just have a picture of it for reference. And then I will take a picture of the actual color checker and uh, create the profile off this. I'm not going to go into creating a color profile. I have another video for that. I can, I'll can i put the uh, link of to that video in the description. Um, so what I do once we're, once we're done shooting and everything like that and we're and I'm back and I'm working on the photos, the first thing I do is I create the color profile. And like I said, I'm not going to go into that. I have another video. Check the uh, description for the link to that. So there's a few things that I do. Uh, the first thing that I do is I set the color profile. Now, like I said, if you're not using a color profile, you can skip this step. The second thing that I do is I go and I grab my white balance tool and I grab just a, a, a shot of this. So if you look at this, at these numbers right here, you're, you're getting right around 70% across, across the board. So that's kind of what you want to look for. Um, and so it came to 6350 plus 3810. Um, the last thing that I do is I go in to lens correction. I enable my profile correction. You can see it made a change there. And then I check profile just to make sure it actually pulled the right profile. So it's uh, 7200 f2.8 VR2. So I know I'm good there. So what I do now is, and this is what people have been complaining about. They're like, oh, well, because a lot of people use auto white balance. So the white balance on each shot is different. This will help you out with that. Even if you shoot auto, auto white balance, as long as you take a picture of this gray card in the light that you're shooting in, it makes it a lot easier. So select this photo that you just made the basic corrections to. So that's the white balance, the color profile, and the lens correction. Select that. Scroll to the end of the photos in that set. And by set, I mean the ones that were taken in that lighting uh, lighting situation. Hold shift. Now I'm, I'm using a Mac, so it might be different on Windows. I'm not sure. Hold shift. Click to the end of the photos, and you'll see a whole bunch will be highlighted. Down here at the bottom... There's a sync button. Um, hit sync. This window will pop up. I always do everything except for crop, and I hit synchronize. Go back to the beginning. Just click off the photo somewhere, and I'm going to show you the before and after. So this is the before and after. Before is on the left, after is on the right, and you can immediately see a difference in the photos between the white balance and the color the color profile and everything. But you can also see, if you look up here, it's all going to be consistent. 
It's a consistent white balance that's pretty good. Um, now I can go and I can make my minor tweaks and adjustments and exposure and stuff like that to each individual photo. But you can see here on the right hand side, right off the bat, these photos are, are already pretty good. Um, well, at least in my opinion. Now, the other thing that you want to remember is you want to make sure that you that you actually take a picture of the gray card in each lighting situation. So this was outdoors, then we went indoors. So when we moved indoors, I did the same thing again. Set my custom white balance, took a picture of the gray card, took a picture of the color checker, set my profile, and once again, this is how easy this is. I'm gonna go down, change my profile, set my white balance, enable my profile correction, lens profile correction, scroll to the right, shift click, sync, synchronize, and that's how fast it is. That's how fast you can go and set your white balance on multiple photos. And again, scrolling through a couple of these already, they look a lot better. The white balance is better. The color is better. Um, these are just a couple of the photos I took out. We we're still setting up lighting and stuff like that. But that's how that's how easy this is. Um, if you have any questions, comments, anything that you want to know or any videos that you want to see, go ahead and uh, send me a message. All my contacts in the description below or leave a comment. If you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my page. This is Russell from Russell Tracy Photography. Have a good day.